Hi, and welcome to this new tutorial of Clayu. Uh, we're going to model a building just for conceptual art for architecture. Okay, so we're going to start using a primitive. In this case, we're going to start with a sphere. And uh, instead of using the sphere mode quad, we're going to use the polygonal. All right, now as we want to create a conceptual uh, design, we don't want to subdivide our model. So we're going to increase the number of segments just uh, to have enough resolution or uh, enough detail for our objects. In this case, something like that's going to be fine. Maybe increasing here a little bit. Okay, maybe 12. I just try always to make uh, one number that can be divided by four in case I want to add uh, symmetries and stuff like that. So uh, 20 and 12, it's, it's quite okay. So let's click on validate. Uh, what I'm going to do right now from the front view it's uh, let me display it in shaded mode. I'm gonna get rid of uh, one half of the sphere, so just select and delete. So that's gonna be the base of uh, the top part, the couple of the of the building. So right now I'm gonna add some details in here. So selecting edge selection mode, double clicking, and holding Alt to extrude a little bit. Okay, so holding Alt and extruding. Now I'm going to change to the scale gamble, or as I have hotkeys active, click uh, R, but let's click in here, holding Alt again, and just in the 2D, uh, in the 2D disk, just change it uh, a little bit, move so, uh, gamble mode again, holding Shift and extruding a little bit, and again clicking R to change the scale gamble, holding Alt on my keyboard, and uh, moving a little bit now again move gamble or click in W holding alt and something like that Okay, that's gonna be the base of the top part of the of the building Okay Perfect now. Let's go for uh, some more details what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with different layers So object mode select my object let's change it to shaded and I'm gonna go to the layers tab and add a new layer maybe but, uh, uh, top part okay and right click change object layer okay and just to make easier to just uh, distinguish i'm gonna use i don't know maybe the gold color okay perfect now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hide these uh, these objects so i'm gonna keep working with that uh, right now i'm gonna create this second object so to start a second object i'm gonna start with a cylinder Okay, so let's click on a cylinder. I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, smaller, maybe something like that. I'm gonna reduce one segment on Z. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase a lot the number of segments. So we said that we don't want to smooth the object. So we're gonna have to increase the number in here. Again, always the number can be divided by four in case that we want to apply uh, different symmetries. So maybe in this case 20, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine again. And let's click on uh, OK. Perfect. Now we're going to select the object, rotation gamble, holding shift to snap 90 degrees and rotate that. Perfect. Now edge selection mode, double clicking to select entire loop, scale gamble and holding alt one more time to make it a little bit smaller in here. OK, perfect. And what I'm going to do now uh, I'm gonna get rid of uh, some of the parts in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select by faces and I'm gonna delete all these faces in here. So all of this. Okay, and click on delete. Okay, perfect. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two parts in here. So maybe what I can do is I can activate the symmetry here. Maybe I can activate it later. That's so let's activate it now. Let's get rid of this half. Now edge selection mode, select the edge, move gamble, holding alt and dragging it to the bottom, something like that. And the same in here and dragging it to the center. So from the front view, I can make sure or more or less to that this is matching a little bit with this part in here. So something like that, it's uh, what I'm looking for. Okay. Perfect. So right now what I have to do is I have to create here, um, I can create in here a big, big, big face. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pen face tool. And 
in the auto guide option I'm going to say no because instead it's going to uh, auto guide it when I raise the number of four so I don't want to create an auto guide so just clicking one two three four five six seven eight times and right now right click to create the entire face okay as I don't want to create any more just right click again and here we have this um, this object okay so what we're gonna do right now it's double clicking on this loop of edges holding alt dragging it a little bit to the inside part and now we're gonna use the tool fill so edition tab and fill to create just one big facing here okay oops sorry because it's creating the the fill to close the other part so uh what we can do is we can do exactly the same with the append face so we can go for append face auto quad no we can go for one 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 and let's go clicking again to create this uh this big face okay perfect there we go and right now what we want is uh we want to double click on this point here and make the the hay that we want in here so maybe holding alt one more time a little bit more to create something like that okay perfect something like this it's uh, the shape that we are uh, looking for so for sure we can add uh, some more details in here but right now that's that's quite good so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna activate the symmetry for this object so select the entire object edition mode and symmetry now I can activate from plane so for instance going to the front view by plane so clicking once twice and right click to validate the symmetry okay right now our object is symmetrical so in case that we want to add some details that's going to be the, the best moment to do that uh, for instance let's imagine that I want to divide this part in here to add one more segment so for instance like that and I want to click one face shift and double click to select the entire loop and I want to create an extrusion so addition extrude and instead of by group by local normals and I want to reduce a lot the uh, the heading here in case that we want to add uh, a small detailing here so something like that's gonna it's gonna do the work and right click that's like a like a clock so in here we can just type a clock so we're gonna make some needles in here so uh, right now we don't want the object to be symmetrical anymore so we can just grab the entire object edition tab and symmetry and I'm gonna set end symmetry so the orange loop will disappear and symmetry and right now we have one entire object if we want to uh, cap the bottom part select the entire object edition mode and fill that okay, to create the, the cap okay so here we have our uh, object what we're gonna add is some details in here like if it's more like a clock so uh, I'm gonna create for instance one box I'm gonna move the box I'm gonna reduce the size a lot so something like that's gonna do the work just reducing divisions in here and maybe make it a little bit bigger something like that okay and right click to validate it so we're gonna just refine the shape a little bit so selecting those faces and scaling them a little bit maybe moving them and the bottom parts just scaling a little bit okay something like that and from the front view we're gonna make sure that this is the scale we want to so something like that and moving it right there okay perfect maybe a little bit smaller it's gonna be fine okay so let's imagine that we want to rotate this uh, this part of the of the clock so we can uh, hold control to move the center the pivot point of the object so now I can rotate that and I can do uh, the time that I want okay now we're gonna duplicate the object okay so just control C and control V and what I'm gonna do it's uh, I'm gonna go for a uh, move gamble holding control moving the pivot point rotating a little bit and rotating the other a little bit something like that 
Unfortunately, if we want to scale that, as we have the, con the pivot point in here, sorry, so we can just scale that a little bit, and we're going to keep the center of the object with no problem. Okay, perfect. Right now, the only thing that we have to do is select both objects and move them where they have to be, something like that, not touching, just a little bit like this. Okay, perfect. Now we have this object. So right now, let's go for the other part. Uh, let's show it. So right now the scale it's not good between both um, between both objects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the object, create a new layer, and we're gonna type clock. So change object to layer and change the color of the clock to brown, for instance. Okay, something like that. I don't like the brown, so I'm gonna change it to I don't know, maybe a sea green or something like that. Much better. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this matches with the with the scale of this part in here. So uh, just having all these objects selected, I'm going to move it. Oops, sorry, I had to select also these parts in here. I'm going to move it on the green axis and I'm going to reduce the scale. So scaling and making it smaller, maybe something like that. Maybe moving it a little bit. I want this to be the top of this part, so maybe even a little bit more. And put it to the inside part. Right, something like that's what we're looking for, maybe. And here at the bottom part, it's going to look much, much better. Okay, there we go. So right now what we want to do is we want to make some copies of this part of the object. Maybe I want to make it a little bit more bigger, just a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to make some copies of this object, just making sure that I'm on the center part. And to make objects, we're going to use the tool uh, Polar Array. So having all the objects selected, just clicking, uh, I think it's Array Polar. Perfect. Center of Polar Array, as I have grid snap, click the center. Number of items, I'm going to set four and click and just right click, 360 uh, degrees, perfect. And right click again, and there we go. Okay, make sure that I have hotkeys active, so when I want to type anything on the common bar, I have to move my cursor outside the viewport, okay? Or just deactivate and activate hotkeys. So right now we have this uh, object that it's quite nice. Right now we're gonna keep working with the uh, yellow part, so we can just hide the other parts and keep working with this. Okay, We can use that as a reference or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more extrusion and I'm going to cap this part in here. So to cap as easy as going to edition and fill it. Okay, And we can cut this part. Okay, Let's say that we have this part finished. Now what we want to do is we want to create some columns in here. So uh, we're going to start creating just one column and then refining the size and then creating an array to create different copies. So uh, I'm going to hide the top part and I'm going to start this part with a cylinder. So let's go to the primitives and cylinder. And as we said before, uh, we just want uh, to have enough resolution to don't have to subdivide the model to look nice. So maybe in this case, maybe 20 is so much, but maybe I'm going to go for... Uh, 16, that is going to be more than enough. And then I'm going to refine the size, so it doesn't matter. So something like that's going to be what we're looking for. So we're going to click on uh, OK. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make one part of the um, of a column, and then I'm going to mirror that. So I'm going to activate symmetry. So right now I'm going to select this loop of edges, scale gumball, holding Alt again. The workflow is almost the same all the time. So going for something like that, maybe a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select by faces and I'm going to delete one quarter. Okay, like that. And I'm going to make sure that I will create just one face in here. So to create one face, as we did before, creation, append face. Make sure that auto quad is deactivated. Okay, and activate this uh, and create this big face in here. So something like that. Perfect. And what we can do right now is we can repeat the tool several times or 
we can directly go for uh, the symmetry. So in this case, I'm going to just grab these faces in here, grab those faces in here, and I can just make this object symmetrical. Okay, so that's uh, that's what I, I prefer. So selecting this object, edit shot mode, and symmetry. I'm gonna go for an edge loop. So this edge loop and right click. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, gonna go again for the entire object. Go for edge loop and select this edge loop again, and right click. And perfect. Here we have the uh, the column. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these edges in here, and with a move gamble, with a move gamble, I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard to extrude that a little bit. And now we don't need the symmetries anymore because this is the shape that we were looking for. So grabbing all the object, going to Edition, Symmetry, and Ending Symmetry again. And right now we can cap that as easy as grabbing those two edges in here and creation a pen face, or we can fill this top or in here. Okay, so if we want to add a little bit more detail to these uh, top parts of the column, what we can do is we can add a new more uh, extrusion and maybe another division on the bottom part. So maybe right there. And in here, what we can do is just click one and shift double click to select the entire loop. And we can just make an extrusion, a small extrusion in here. So something like that. And another one here on the top part. And we can create another one. And selecting the top face, holding shift, holding alt, sorry. And extruding a little bit. So here we have a quite decent column. If we want to create the same column on the bottom part, so just select the entire object. Addition tab, symmetry, by edge loop, double click on the edge loop, right click. And we don't want the object to keep being symmetrical. In case that we don't want to add more details, let's say that we want to add a little bit more details, so right click and we keep the symmetry active. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make for, uh, I'm going to go for divide. So dividing one's in here, another one in here, one in here, right clicking and another one in here. One bigger and the other one smaller. So the same, click one, shift double click on the next one and addition tab and extruding, maybe the extrude maybe a little bit bigger like that and the same here on the other part so again maybe this time we can go for an um, extrusion to the inside part something like that so as we had symmetry active we are adding details on both parts okay right now it's the moment that in case that we want to uh, decrease the um, the radius in here so we can go for uh, dividing and creating one division in here maybe one next to it. And now what we can do is we can select all these edges in here, all these faces, and scaling. And with the two gamble, to the gamble, we can just make sure that we want to scale that perfectly, just a little bit. And also doing something like that to create this, uh, this kind of transition that it's gonna look quite, quite, quite good. Maybe a little bit more. So there we go, we have our column in here. So now grab the entire column, and going for addition, symmetry, and symmetry. Perfect. So right now what we want to do is we want to rotate that. So rotate that. In this case, we want to align it there. So 45 degrees. So double click and type 45 and enter. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the top part just to make sure that the column fits in there. So select the column, move it, move it a little bit down and from the front view. I'll make sure that this is uh, touching like that. Perfect. In case that I want to touch the top part, we can go like this. Doesn't matter. It's going to look a little bit better, I think. And from here, I'm going to make sure maybe from the from the top view, I'll move that. No, I don't want it to go outside or so something like that. And maybe a little bit more going to the inside part. OK, something like this. Maybe it's a little bit uh, small, but I think that it's gonna it's gonna make it work. Let's see how it looks like with the clocks. I think it's a little bit smaller than what I wanted, so just grab it, scale it a little bit, and move it just a little bit to the inside part. 
and from the front view to make sure that everything looks good let's go like this okay perfect that's the result that we are looking for maybe even a little bit more outside perfect and right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the column and going for array polar array polar center of the polar array so from the top view I'm gonna click the central part and now number of copies I don't like four maybe maybe I can put six copies maybe it's gonna be too much so let's see six copies 360 they are touching so six copies it's too much let's let's try with uh, with five copies so polar array center number of copies let's go for five and now five it's much much better okay maybe now it's the time when we said okay maybe they were quite uh, big so if we validate that's going to be the the result maybe i are quite big so i'm going to just undo this part and i'm going to make it a little bit smaller okay like that show the top part and moving it a little bit to the outside part okay i want to try to make six copies so the result is going to be much much better for sure i can make it outside and make the columns to just uh, be bigger than the base part but I, I don't like that and from the front view now making sure again that it looks nice and one more time i hope it's, it's going to be the last time array polar center of polar array from the top view this part in here number of copies let's try for six right now okay now it's going to look uh, nice so here we have the six copies and are going to look amazing with the other parts of the uh, of the object so now we can grab all the columns creating a new layer for columns and right click change object to layers and if we want to change the color so just go for it okay this color it's quite ugly before turquoise okay perfect so we are just missing the bottom part of the object so it's going to be quite similar than the top one so we're going to start with a primitive another cylinder and now we're going to make sure that let's go it's uh, 16 and segment one we're going to make sure that we are adding a lot of segments in here we cannot see the object so let me just move it a little bit outside so let's go for maybe 10 it's too much let's go for eight and something like that so we're going to make it quite quite bigger so from the top view we can check size more or less we can double click in here to make sure that we are grabbing uh, a point on the grid so something like that maybe eight it's too much let's go for six okay and let's click on okay let's validate we can cap it for sure in here so i'm gonna cap top with a polygonal cap and cap bottom with an uh, sorry with an engon both sides with an engon and let's click on okay right now what, what i can do is i can just hide the other parts and this i can move it from the top i can just move it to the center part more or less doesn't matter if it's not perfectly on the center that's going to be more than uh, more than enough. We could add more uh, segments in here, but that's going to be that's going to be nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these uh, steps in here, and I'm going to scale it. Okay, so I'm going to scale all these steps in there a lot. So uh, I'm going to grab these uh, steps in here, and I'm going to make it a little bit more like that and those steps in here and scaling in 2D to create something like this okay this is like different stairs or something like that but the result is going to be quite good so now with the move gamble holding alt to extrude that a little bit okay maybe we can go for a scale gamble holding alt to do something like this now smaller and one more time something like this Okay, so we can get a nice result in here. Maybe I want the, the steps to be a little bit bigger, so we can scale it like this. And now let's see how it looks like with, uh, with the columns. So this is going to go to the bottom of the columns. 
right there and maybe we'll have to scale it a little bit more so the columns are inside there we go and moving it a little bit from the front view just to make sure that this is just touching right there okay perfect so uh, we have all the parts of our our building made right now so that's gonna be how it's gonna look in uh, rendered mode the result it's quite good doesn't matter the color for the layers it wasn't uh, so beautiful but that's gonna be the result for sure we can keep adding more and more and more details but that's um, that's what I want to show you uh, this uh, video just to make sure that we can create conceptual designs conceptual art so so uh, in a really easy easy way and uh, so fast okay so I hope you liked uh, this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.